channel. My name is Lacey. If you're new here, if you're not, then welcome back. What are y'all doing? So today is kind of like an all over the place, maybe like a vlog type thing. Um, just a lot of little different things I've decorated for fall. I'm going to show y'all that first on my fall decor. So y'all, it feels like fall today, finally. Um, we had a couple of nights last week that felt like fall. But so I think fall is probably my favorite season. Maybe winter is like a close they're like neck and neck but in the beginning of fall and like the beginning of winter in particular like my mood just lifts tremendously we have a lot of fun during the summer and during the spring you know we do a lot of stuff like going out on the boat and just lots of family you know get togethers and stuff like that but we live in georgia so the heat i mean it just really ends up getting to me to the point where it's like miserable to go outside and stuff. I think I'm like the opposite of a lot of other people where, you know, in the summertime people like to get out and I wanna stay inside when it's summer because it's so hot that it's like miserable here. So fall and winter, like I love to be outside. I just love having my windows open. Like, and it's also probably the struggle girl in me, but something about having my windows open and the AC off, y'all, I can just feel my electric bill going down right now. I don't know. So I get in a lot better mood. So we've been going through so much here lately. A lot of my family members have COVID. My papa's been in the hospital. My mom is really sick. So it's just been kind of crazy and stressful and stuff. So things have just been lighter this evening. My papa is home. Like a weight lifted off my shoulders. And so I just feel really I don't know. I just feel like I'm in such a better mood. I have been, my nerves have been shot for a good week almost. Um, you know, so finally today, I just feel good. Like I feel good. I know it has a lot to do with the weather and stuff like that. And also tomorrow, Sadie will be five. She's down there playing with her Barbie set. So I'm just going to take some time and do my nails now. So first I do want to cut in really quick and show you our decor. Um, I did decorate today some. I've never decorated for fall before, and I'll kind of explain what happened throughout it. I started decorating, and then my husband had to finish it because I don't have a decorating bone in my body, y'all. <laughs> I would say that that's one of the hardest things for me to do is decorate. Like, I don't have an eye for it at all. Um, I don't know how to put things together, but apparently my husband does because he came in here and I think he knocked it out of the park. So everything is really subtle. I didn't want to do anything like huge or anything, you know, and overtake the living room because, you know, I don't have a lot of storage as it is and I just didn't want things to look cluttered. But as I'm looking at it, I'm really happy about having our entertainment center because I felt like it was really easy to decorate and I did want that to be like, you know, a focal point. Um, <clears throat> when it came to like decor. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the decor and all we did earlier. And then I'm gonna cut back to me doing my nails. And I'm gonna go ahead and find something to watch. So, all right, let's go. So I got this table runner from Dollar General for $6. And I really like the colors on it, the truck. I feel like it was pretty subtle. Wasn't a big, you know, statement or anything like that, but still cute and country looking which is pretty much the theme throughout my trailer um yeah so i thought it was really cute and i'm really happy with the way it looks i've never had a runner before this little glass stand it was holding my fake pie that i used to put on my stove for a while but it started to crumble and so i finally just threw the pie away i love that thing but it was time for it to go and i decided that it would look really cute if i put the stand in the middle of the table um, because i really didn't have an idea for a centerpiece and so i kind of just winged this and i'm trying out a lot of different little things that i have until i get the right combination the mini hay bale is from the dollar tree and then the pumpkins they all came in a pack from amazon they had different sizes in there, but they were all either white or burlap. And so I'm just playing with the sizes here to try and, you know, offset it so it looks cute. And then I've got this little piece of a floral arrangement, like from, a, from the Dollar Tree. And I just cut two of the stems off and stuck them inside the hay bale because I felt like it needed something else besides just the pumpkin and the hay.
Now moving on to the entertainment center and the living room, which I feel like is, you know, going to be a focal point for my fall decor. I'm trying out a couple of different things up here, but you'll see we do change this. Uh, I did not like the way that I did it at all. And my husband comes in and saves the day with that. And then down here on this shelf that's over the fireplace, I've just got this little blue truck that is from Amazon. And then the little eucalyptus plant, which is fake, that is from the Dollar General. And then the little glass pumpkin is from Dollar Tree. So now my husband has come to help me and we tried to put like a little bit of an arrangement up there on the top of the entertainment center but it didn't look that good so we did move that and i wanted to redo these little plaques but i haven't done it yet i'm not really sure if i'm going to change those plaques but they all of the stuff you see here right there in front of the tv is from the dollar tree This little area here is the one that I was trying to decorate at first and my husband ended up doing all of this here and putting it all together. I love the way that, you know, he made it look. It turned out really cute. So thank goodness that he has the eye because I don't. Over my sink, this little area has been like this for a good week or two now. I just spray painted those pumpkins with some blue spray paint. They were from Dollar Tree. And this door hanger here, I did make this myself the little pumpkins i took three wooden ones and i painted them so i did film that but i didn't know if i should include it in this part i really don't know if that's something anyone is interested in seeing but if you are interested in seeing you know how you would do something like that just let me know and i can post that for y'all and then this little arrangement here i got about a month ago from the dollar tree These three pillow covers came from Amazon and the first one just says thankful with a pumpkin on it. And then I really love this little truck one. I feel like that's, you know, kind of a popular theme nowadays is the truck, but I think this pillow is my favorite. It says gather and it has the three little gnomes on it. Y'all think these are just adorable. So cute. I got this candle a couple of weeks ago from Ollie's. If you can't tell, the sticker's still on there a little bit. And it's the Cozy Corner scent. And it's not really a strong scent. I wish it was a little bit stronger, but it does smell really good. On earth as it is in heaven, we know you're always there. There's nothing like you. Which also, I'm going to show you all how I do my gel nails at home. It's really affordable. You can get all of this stuff on Amazon. The first thing you're going to need is a UV lamp. I do not recommend this one. Get a better one for sure. I use only Beetles gel nail polish and it activates with the UV lamp only. So you're going to need a base coat and a top coat. And then I'm using this light pink color tonight. I'm going to be using this glittery silver color too. And then you're going to need two different buffers. I like to use this one because it has a really rough side and that's for shaping the nail. And then the orange one I like to use over top of these fake nails. So I got the fake nails from Walmart. They're the Kiss brand. And then I like to also use alcohol pads. You're definitely going to need something with like alcohol in it to get, you know, all the natural oils and stuff that are on your nails. You need to get that off in order for the nails to stay. And also, even if you're just going to paint the gel polish straight on your nails, you also still are going to need to use some alcohol wipes. So you're going to buff your nails down and then you're going to use an alcohol wipe to wipe it off. And then I'm just going to go through and put these little tips on and I like to buff them out first before I put them on the nail just so they adhere better.
that I'm done putting them all on, I'm gonna use a pair of fingernail clippers and I'm gonna cut them down a little bit longer than I actually want them because I'm gonna shape and file them down and they're gonna get a good bit shorter. Now that I'm done cutting them down, I'm gonna go ahead and shape them and file them down. I like to make mine square and then I just kinda round the edges out just a little bit so they're not sharp or anything. So the nails are done being shaped and so now I'm going to go through with this orange buffer here. I did get this off of Amazon. It came in a pack and so I'll link all this stuff down below. But I'm just going to buff the top of these kiss nails because they have a shiny coat over top of them and I want that coat gone just so that the gel nail polish will really adhere to the nail and then I'm going to go through and alcohol wipe them. Now it's time for my gel polish. I'm gonna put a layer of a base coat on and you wanna make sure that it's really thin. Make sure each layer is as thin as you possibly can get it because the thicker it is, the longer and harder it is gonna be for it to cure. So you definitely wanna make sure that it is thin and then you're gonna cure it for two minutes underneath the lamp and make sure that it is fully cured before you move on to the next layer. And so now that that layer is cured, I'm gonna go ahead and put my first coat of the pink nail polish on, and I'm gonna make sure that it's cured before I do a second coat. So now that I'm done with the first coat of pink, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this coat for two minutes and then I'll move on to painting the second coat of pink and then I'm gonna cure it again for two minutes. You wanna make sure that each coat is cured before you move on to the next one, y'all. Now it's time for the top coat. This is really important for making sure it doesn't chip or anything like that. And also it gives it that really pretty shine that you get with gel nails.
All right, y'all, just finished my nails. I don't really know if you can see very good, but yeah. It lasts me a good like two weeks if I keep them short. Any longer than this and they're gonna pop off because you know, I'm cleaning, I'm doing all kinds of stuff all the time. So yeah, I like to keep them short. So they last a long time. I mean, I think it's a really cheap alternative. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video today. I know it was a little bit different, a little more laid back. Usually I'm like all, you know, up and at them and gung ho, but I just really wanted to relax today and I also wanted to give y'all something a little different today I think this was kind of fun this was a this was fun for me this was different um, I don't know I really enjoyed I really enjoyed making this video today so I don't know anyways I really hope y'all enjoyed it and I hope I see y'all in the next one toodaloo